Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Peace be unto you and your loved ones. Today we will continue part six of our series that I call Warning, Head-On Collision. You're going the wrong way. Use the manual for directions. I will begin by placing the cloak of invisibility with the key of David over this communication, over our minds, bodies, spirit, and hearts, covering us all with the precious blood of the Lamb. Let's get back into the owner's manual. The man-made vehicles manual versus humanity, God's creation, holy word Bible. The vehicles owner's manual, setting up infotainment features. Okay, I had to look that one up. Broadcast material, which is intended both to entertain and to inform. Okay. From navigating to integrating with your phone, your manual will help you set up the features of your vehicle's infotainment system. Doing this before you start driving will help prevent you from fumbling to enter an address or answer a call while you're driving and keep your attention where it belongs on the road. Your vehicle, toys of this world, made by man for the comfort and easy access. Artificial intelligence systems that will continue to make humanity obsolete. Freedom to reduce the stimulus of our brains. So as we forfeit our brain's activity, they introduce brain stimulation therapies. This involves activating or inhabiting the brains directly with electricity. The electricity can be given directly by electrodes implanted in the brain. What do you think of that? A non-invasive through electrodes placed on the scalp. The electricity can also be introduced by using magnetic fields applied to the head. Wow, excellent package. You will now be a robot. Humans, God's creation. Your manual, the Holy Bible. Setting up infotainment features. Inf information, entertainment. From navigation to integration with your mind, your manual will help you set up the features of your infotainment system. As it reads in John 1.1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Who's the Word? Jesus Christ of Nazareth is described as the Word. He is the Word because he is the definite revealing of who God is and what God is. Simple to the point, this manual hides nothing. As it reads in John 1.14, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Again, nothing hidden. This manual applies only to the truth and corrections. No wires, electric shock therapy, nothing artificial. As it reads in John 10, 13, I and my Father are one. Straight to the point, pure and simple, as it reads in Isaiah 9, 6, for unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Consular, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Doing this before you start your daily task, your manual will help prevent you from fumbling, knowing whom you serve, who created you, and who will collaborate your steps. These institutions will keep you attention, will keep your attention where it belongs, on the road to eternal life. As it reads in John 14, 
six to seven. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye have known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Again, nothing hidden from those who can see. As it reads in John 3 to 3 to 6. Jesus Christ of Nazareth answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water, and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Nothing artificial, no AI, nothing of this world, but born of water and spirit. Family, I pray you all have received the Holy Spirit and have repentance in your heart for all sins known and unknown this is this that your temple be kept clean without spots or wrinkle if you have not received the free gift of grace through christ our lord do it now time is short remember you're not guaranteed tomorrow family this concludes part six join me next time as we continue this series i pray you will subscribe and share these messages with your friends and families. As always, I give all the glory to Father Ahaya, his son, Yeshaya HaMashiach, and Aruah HaKadesh, his Holy Spirit. Shalom.